Hello guys, welcome to another codingbat.com tutorial. Today we will be going over array 2 exercise not alone. The problem says, we'll say that an element in an array is alone if there are values before and after it, and those values are different from it. Return a version of the given array where every instance of the given er value which is alone is, is replaced by whichever value to its left or right is larger. So let's take the first example. So two, so the integer they give you is two. So, so um, for every instance of the two, we will look at uh, whichever value is to the left and to the right of it. And if they are different, um, we'll change the two to whichever value is larger. So in this case, it is three. So let's take the second example, for instance, um, here, the integer they give you again is two. So we'll take this first two here and we'll look at the value to the left and to the right. And we'll see that three is larger than one. So this two becomes three. Now we'll look at the second two here and um, the values to the left and right of it, three and five are different. So uh, the two will be changed to whichever value is larger, which in this case is five. So this two here becomes five. Um, this last two um, cannot be changed to anything because there are no values before and after it. Um, again, uh, similarly to the last two here, if we look at this uh, third example here, where the integer they give you is three, we look at this three here, and because there is no value before it, we just return the same array. So uh, we say for integer Typically, we would start at zero. However, because we because we cannot automatically start from here because there needs to be a value before it, we will start our for loop at one. So integer i equals one. i is less than nums dot length minus one. This is for the same reason that we started our for loop at one because there needs to be a value after it. We cannot start. We cannot end the for loop at the last value. Rather, we can end it at the second to last value. I plus plus. Now, if there, if the number at i is equal to the value they give you, and the number before it is not equal to the number you're looking at, and the number after is not equal to the number you're looking at, then that number will be equal to the maximum of the number before it and the number after it. Then we return that same integer array. And if we run the program, we get all correct. 